Hey, and welcome to another video of our, of our Android services. In this video, we're going to enable the button called Email. And so we'll put an email address at the top of the screen here, and we'll click Email, and it will actually launch the email program on your phone. So let's get started here with our code. So I'm in mainactivity.java. I just want to review the buttons that are on my form here. So you can see I have a button underscore email object in my layout. That's the button that I want to reference. So back here in the code, in the Java code, let's add a new reference here to btn, and we'll call this thing email. Now in the onCreate method, we're going to add a new value to btn email. So now the email button has the actual reference to the ID of the uh, button on the layout. Next thing we need to do is create an actual listener for the click event. So we'll do a set on click listener. So I want to create a new function here, and I'll call it send email. Inside here, I'm expecting a string. So I'm going to capture the value that's in the uh, ET data entry form. All right, so we'll send a string, and now we'll make a function at the bottom of the page. Now, once more to get some help on the function, let's go back into our official documentation. So it looks like we have email as one of the options. So here's the section on the page called Compose an Email with Optional attend, uh, Attachments. So it seems a little odd to me. Why do they have two actions? One's called Send To and the other one's called Send. So the first thing that would come to mind is we're sending information to another user through email. That's what this one up here indicates. That's when you're sending directly to another user. What is this Send? This is not necessarily Send for Email. This is a generic send, means one application wants to share data with another application. So they could have called this share with, action share with another app. That would have been more appropriate. Instead, they just called it send. And so it kind of confuses you now to think that it's actually sending directly to another user. This just means send information to another app. Let's go look at their code and see if there's something we can copy and paste. Sure enough, there is a section called Compose Email. I like the name of that, so let's copy it and let's bring it into our program. So since they're using Compose Email as their function name, I'm going to copy that and overwrite the name that I had originally started with. Now it says here we have a few other things. Uh, they're expecting a subject and a URI attachment. So in my case, uh, I don't have any of those things. So Let's, uh, let's tell it the subject. Um, let's make up one. Let's just call it hello from, I'm going to put my name in, hello from Shad. And that's hard-coded right into the application. Probably not a good idea, but that's the way it's going to be. So for the attachment, a URI attachment. Uh, actually, I'm not going to allow you to do attachments, so I'm just going to take that part out, delete it. Okay, it looks like my compiler is getting grumpy. Uh, he says, uh, we're doing a string, and it's expecting an actual array of strings. Oh, isn't that interesting? So we're going to have to create an array of more than one address. Okay, well, we'll get back to that. Let's see what else is bad. So since I did not pass in an attachment here, it is saying that uh, this line is not going to work. So if you want attachments, you can add them. But for right now, I'm just going to have a simple text message in my email. Okay, so we got ourselves an error fixed there. How do we fix this one up here? So it actually wants to have a, an array of strings. So let's create one for them. Let's call it string and an array, and we'll call it addresses. And it's going to be a new string. It's going to be a new string of size 1. All right? And so addresses at item 0 is going to be equal to the data that we get from our entry point. So we'll cut that out and paste it up here. And then we're going to put in the word addresses. So it thinks it's getting multiple addresses, but as you can see, I've created just an array of one element, and it puts in the address. So there could be interesting things. If you wanted to put in multiple email addresses separated by commas, you could split them up, and you could then create an array of addresses. For this demonstration, we just have one address. All right, so now we've got ourselves all the code down below. Looks like we're going to do an action send. The type of uh, 
application we're looking for is star dot star or star slash star. That means any kind of application at all on my operating system. So it's going to be asking for a lot more than just uh, Gmail. Then we're going to put in the address and the subject line and then we're going to start the activity. Let's see how this works. Okay, it looks like the app is up and running. Let's put in something. Okay, so I'm going to send an email to don at whitehouse.gov and we'll choose email. All right, so the first thing comes up is share with. And you can see that there is a ton of things I can share with. Why do I have so much stuff to share with? And I only want Gmail. The reason why I get this long list of applications is because of this filter here called set type. And it's called star slash star. So actually every app on my phone is probably capable of responding to an infinite uh, request like that. So we're going to fix that. But for right now, let's see if we can get it to select uh, Gmail. So I'll, I'll tell it Gmail is going to get my guy and just once. And let's see what happens. Uh, apparently, I have to do some more things to make Gmail work properly. But on your real phone, where you've already logged into Gmail and you got your account, it should probably work. All right, let's switch back into our uh, tutorial here. And let's see, they've got some other strings here. It says, in this time, we're going to use send to. So instead of just the action of send, let's use send to. So we'll see the difference here is that we're going to include another part in our address. It's called mail to. So let's take this uh, actual function and let's borrow that instead. So let's go into our program and erase the one that was there and overwrite it. Okay, so now we got addresses again. The string is subject. This time, the data is going to be actually including send to. So theoretically, only email apps should respond to this request. So let's see how that works. Okay, it looks like we're ready to go again. So I'm going to put don at whitehouse.gov and let's choose email. This time, it doesn't ask me for what program to run. It knows exactly that it's only going to work with an email program. So you probably have Gmail on your phone. Uh, you might have another application that handles email, and so you'll be asked if you have multiple email programs. But right now, it looks like that's working. All right, in the next video, we're going to go into this dial command here, and then we'll make some phone calls.